Hello my friends and welcome to the installation guide for Battletech Revised. So this guide is designed to help anyone and everybody install Battletech Revised who is having any issues. So first things first, make sure that you have a clean, and I mean clean, install of Battletech. You can use my clean uninstall guide to get to that point if you have mods from before Battletech Revised. You need to purge them and any save games that you might have either from the vanilla game or from other mods those need to go as well um, but there's a separate guide for that this one is for installing Battletech Revised onto a clean copy of Battletech so first things first you need to go to Nexus Mods and download Battletech Revised it is mod number 567 so that's the one that's the number you're looking for you need to go to files and you need to download manually the Battletech revised uh, main file. That's all you gotta do. Save that to your desktop. I have already downloaded it. Then you need to download the community asset bundle installer. This is mod number 393 <clears throat> on Nexus mods. Um, go to files and download the community asset bundle uh, and once again, just manually download that and save it to your desktop. Once you have successfully downloaded these two files, you should have something that looks like this, where you've got Community Asset Bundle and you have the Battletech revised zip file. Now, one thing that I recommend that you do is you create a folder called Community Asset Bundle and you just drop the Community Asset um, installer that you have just downloaded, drop it into this folder. And the reason why is that when you run the bundle, it will uh, vomit out a load of files. So it's uh, it's better if you contain it in its own little folder so it doesn't spew files all over your desktop. So first things first, run the asset bundle installer as an administrator. <clears throat> now I've already installed the bundle so it will it will update instead of install, but it's exactly the same process. Uh, instead of update cab, you'll have install cab. Just double check that it has found the correct target. So in this case, for me, it's on my F drive, game, Steam library, common Battletech mods. <clears throat> that is where my Battletech installation is. Um, so obviously you would click install cab here. I would click update cab here. Um, and then you, you just run that and close it. It's, it's as simple as that. I can click update cab here. Um, but... It will probably take forever because I um Wow the internet's actually working brilliantly today which is weird. <laughs> um uh, it normally takes forever because uh I'm on a I'm on a radio transponder down here in the basement which I can't use all the time due to the cost, so I'm gonna stop that straight away. Um once this installation is complete, just close that. Close that folder that you have made. Now you have the Battletech revised master zip file. Open this up. It might be called Battletech revised, or it might be called Battletech revised master, or Battletech revised release, depending on what we call the release version. Um, this is the master version, so this is the development copy. Um, you can get a development copy if you're on the testing team. It's uh, unstable though. So rely on Nexus Mods to get the release version, which will be uh, the latest stable version. Anyway, open up the zip folder, then open up your Steam account, right click on Battletech, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. This is the quickest way to find the Mods folder. And in the Mods folder, you will find the Community Assets folder and nothing else. So because you installed the Community Assets bundle, it has automatically created a mods folder for you and automatically put the community assets folder inside it for you um, which will be pretty big like it's 5 gig so it's quite the big download that's why I didn't show you guys the download because we would be here for for some time so now all you gotta do is click the top of the Battletech revised master folder hold down shift click the bottom that will allow you to grab everything you can also use Control A, but I prefer to do it this way. Uh, copy all of that and paste it in here. Not into the Community Assets folder, but into the Mods folder, obviously. 
There's a huge number of files here, so this will actually take a little bit of time. And I can't skip this step. I can't be like, here's one that I prepared earlier for this because uh, because this is the actual process. <laughs> There's no getting around it. Okay, it, it should go pretty quickly, but um, if you're on a hard disk, it might take a lot longer. Um, I'm on a solid state drive and it still takes a little while. But this is the installation process for Battletech Revised, so now it's installing all of the all of the mods that are part of the Battletech Revised package. Okay, speeding along. Slowly but surely. Uh, in the meantime, um, if you uh, would be so so kind as to endorse these mods, that would be awesome. I can't endorse Battletech Revised because it's my mod. <laughs> so it's not possible for me to endorse my own mod, but um, if you guys would endorse it, that would be appreciated. You don't have to, I just, I have nothing else to say right now. It's the only reason why I'm doing this shilling. Ah, oh, there's just no getting out of loading bars when it comes to installing things, is there? <clears throat> but part of the reason why I do these guides in this way is because <clears throat> I, I can't presume anything about whoever's watching this. You could have never ever modded before, you could be a computer engineer. I very much doubt that you are a computer engineer, because you probably would have worked it out yourself and not needed a guide if you were a computer engineer. But, <clears throat> saying that one step removed from that, I don't know, maybe you're a data, a data analyst or something. Um, no, ma no matter from what skill set you are viewing this, I want to cover every step and miss nothing, because Otherwise, people will run into problems, so. Okay. Just goes to show how many files we've been playing around with. There's over, over 450 mechs in Battletech Revised, so that alone was a huge amount of work. It took a huge amount of time. Okay, come on. Cheering the loading bar on. Of course, if we're installing the cab, this video would be like an hour long. So, <laughs> I had to skip the uh, the installation of the cab because that really takes ages, especially when you're on a uh, when you're on a radio transmitter that you can only use part of the time. All right, 89, 90. <laughs> I should have come on with some cue cards or some stuff to say. You can go ahead and actually close the, uh, the zip folder. It will carry on copying across. Almost there. Well, those of you with an M2 drive who are just like plowing through this in 10 seconds, I'll be, uh, I'm jealous, let's put it that way. Okay, so now all the folders are copied across. We have one last step to do. Um, search the list for mod tech. So here's the mod tech folder, open up mod tech and run ModTech Injector as an administrator. If you are on Windows 10 and you have Windows Defender running, you will get this message. Click More Info and then click Run Anyway. It just doesn't like... Um, uh, it doesn't like DOS, DOS injectors because DOS injectors are often used to inject viruses, but in this case we are just injecting a file into Battletech. Okay, with that 
final but very important step completed, you should now be able to run Battletech and find that Battletech Revised is installed. If you don't complete the mod tech step, it will not work. So that is very important that you do that. The first time that you run it, it may also take a lot of time to load because it will be creating a cache. Um, but once the, the first load is completed, the second load will be much quicker. And in fact, I recommend that you close the mod down after loading it the first time and reopen reopen the game um, after the first load so um, uh, so that it does the quicker the quicker load process um, just to make sure that everything is running smoothly and that there are no errors I don't think you have to do that but I just I recommend it because the first time you load the mod, it's actually creating a load of new files. Um, and then the second time you load the mod, those files already exist. And um, there is sort of like a superstition that some errors are caused by playing the game on a first load when a, a number of cache files don't exist. Or didn't originally exist when the loading process happened. So I don't know how true that is or not. I've not run into a problem myself, but it's not a big deal to close the game and reopen it once the first load is completed. So I just do that now. Just something to keep in mind if you run into strange errors. So you can see here that the merging is going on. The merging is complete. <laughs> you gotta love StarCraft. What a game that was. Well, what a game it still is, I suppose. It's ancient now, though. Okay, populating the database. Happy days. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> uh, well, it's an installation, isn't it? There's no way to make this sexy. Okay, and we're done. Still loading. Boom! And now you will find that Battletech Revised is complete. Uh, completely installed. Um, now I would recommend that you actually uh, close the game and reload it uh, from this point on. Uh, just because the first load obviously has created a load of, uh, a load of cache files and merges and so on. And uh, as I said, there is there is a bit of a superstition going around that um, perhaps the game does not detect the recently created files from a first from a first run. So uh, just close the game and reopen it, and then play. And that should be it. You should be good to go. As always, any questions, comments, etc., um, just drop me a comment in the video, and I will respond to you. Um, but it's a pretty simple installation process, so hopefully you guys will not have any trouble with it. And I hope you enjoy playing Battletech Revised, and I'll see you guys next time.